Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, I will be showing you how to do this uh, surface development drawing right here. Question number 14. All right. So this is the second video of our surface development series. Alright, so for this drawing, like with most um, or all surface development drawings, we start with the plan view. So this is the plan view right here. And this is the hexagonal pyramid. Alright, so the, for the plan view, we see the hexagon clearly outlined and all the lines that meet up in the center, which is point O. So first things first, we need to draw our hexagon. Alright. And we're giving this distance a distance across the centers all right good so to do that we're going to type polygon and then we're going to enter the number of sides so the number of sides is six all right specify center i want it here do i want inscribed or circumscribed this is asking me do i want it to be able to fit inside a circle um that would be in this case since the distance across the center is uh 60. yeah do i want it to be able to fit inside a circle that has a diameter of 60 or do i want it outside of a circle with a diameter of 60. in this case i want it inside since i'm giving the distance across the center all right so inscribe and then i'm supposed to type in the measurement now all right so since the total diameter of the circle that this would fit in would be 60 then I'm going to type the radius now, which would be 30. Half of the diameter, so I'll type 30, enter, and that's my hexagon. So let me just measure to ensure that my hexagon actually has the correct dimensions. 60. Nice. All right, so with that now, I'm going to draw some lines to connect the points. Alright, nice. So now we are going to label our hexagon to ensure that we don't get confused. So on the drawing, it's labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, and the center is O. Alright, so let's do that labeling right now. Alright, so for the labeling, let's go to text. Um, when you go to text, click on the drop down arrow and select multi line text. Just click on a place and then just create this uh, rectangle and just click anywhere outside here and then it, it asks you to type now so now I can type so let me just type A good all right good all right so let me move this all right that A is a little bit small so I want it to be a bit bigger so I can just click on the A and then I can type scale and it says specify base point so I can just click anywhere on this and I want it to be twice the size so I just type 2 enter and now it gets bigger twice the size than it was before alright so let me just change that color the color of that A to a different um, color so let's make it a bright green color alright good so now let me label the rest of them, the rest of the, the other parts. So instead of having to type B, C, D, whatever, let me just copy the A and then I can edit it and write in, write in the correct letter. Alright, so A, this is B. good so now we are done with the plan view the next thing we're going to do is to get the elevation right? and we can start the elevation just above the plan view um, let's start it about let's say 20 millimeters above the um, plan view 
C'est pas mon vieux, mais c'est un truc. Ça a des lines to work with. Alright, so I know the point that I'm working with. So from there, I can just draw a line across, no specific distance. Then I can click on this line, click here, and just extend this out. Um, I no longer need this, so I can delete that. Alright, so now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up lines from all these points. Alright, so let me bring up lines from all these points from here. From the center O, the one from oh, I'm going to bring it all the way up. Um, no specific distance as yet. Bring that to there. Bring this to here. And also this to here. Alright, good. Alright, so now the line from B and C would go through um would go through this line from B would go through F. So let me just do that so that we understand it. And the line from C would go through E. So up here, C and E would be on the same line. And B and F would be on the same line. So let me just copy these. Let me just turn off object now for a minute. Alright, so F would be there. Right, let me just do this. So now, right here, this would be A, this would be F and B, F and B would have the same point, then this would be E and B, E and C, sorry, and then over here would be point D. Good. Alright, so now it says that the height of this is 70. So this baseline right here, we can offset that by 70. So we click on this and we can click right here, which is offset tool, or we can just um, type offset. And it says specify offset distance, and the distance is 70. So type 70, enter. So now you can see I can offset the line either above or below this line that is highlighted. But I want it up here. So there it is. Alright, so with that now, I can draw a line. Let me turn on my object now. I can draw a line from ensure that I click on the correct point. I can draw a line from here to A. And from here to F B and to EC and also to D over here nice all right so we have the elevation good so now that we have the elevation the next thing we have the plan and the elevation so now we need the surface development all right so the surface development is right here so to get the surface development, we're going to start with the plan view. Alright, so let me just copy the plan. Copy this um, hexagon. The copy tool is here, or you can type copy. And let me copy it with the points. Let me see if the points are the same over here. Alright, no D and E are there. Okay. So let me just do this. So let me copy this, bring it over here. Good. All right, so we're going to do the plan view over here. All right, let me just um, delete this for a minute. All right, so here now, we are at this point right here. Good. All right, so we need this distance OA and OA is right here from O to A so we need to measure to so find out um, what that distance actually is so come over here to utilities click the drop down select measure select distance all right so this from here to here this is what we're trying to find out and that is 76 the distance is 76 all right so that means that 
from here we're going to draw a circle two circles so the circle is there and the radius for this circle is going to be 76 since um, OA is 76 and we're going to copy this circle so we're going to copy the circle from here and bring it to here so again all I did after after I drew the circle again I the center of the circle is here and the radius of the circle is 76 then I copy the circle from the center and bring it over here I didn't have to copy the circle I could have drawn the next circle over here that um, for the same radius of 76 but copying just makes it easier all right so now I'm going to draw a line from where the two circles um, intersect to that point right here and then from here to this point right here good so now this distance should be 76 so let's measure and see if it is indeed 76 yes it is 76 so, so that's good all right so we have one triangle out of the six triangles all right so we have this triangle right here b e o all right so we need all these other ones so to get that this is what we're going to do we're going to draw a circle or we can just copy one of these circles so let me just copy this circle so i'm just click on here and select sorry so let me select the copy tool all right so i'm going to copy this from the circle from the center and bring it to that point right there i should i use the move tool instead of instead of the copy tool because i'm going to delete this one all right so if that step was a bit confusing let me show you what i did let me delete that circle so instead of copying the circle i could have deleted the circle and just draw next circle with the center here and the circumference of the circle would be here because i know that's 76 or i could just type 76 and i get my circle all right good all right so this distance now I need the distance of from here to here this distance and that distance is 30 all right so one side of the hexagon is 30 and that is some very important information now this is why if this side is 30 that means all the other sides are 30 so with that information I can do this I can get a circle with a radius of 30 all right and I put the center of the circle here all right and draw the circle with the radius of 30 so that means that if I draw a line from here to where the two circles intersect that distance should be 30 so let me measure it and see if it is indeed 30 yes it is 30 all right so that's good so now if I move the circle this is the move tool right here I can type move move the circle from here and bring it to the end right here where the line meets the circle so if I do that and then I draw the next line from here all right then that line is going to be 30 as well all right so let me just look back at the drawing all right good all right good so I have those two points so let me do this once more I'm going to move the circle from here and bring it over to here and then I can draw a line from here to here and that line is 30 good so now let me just move this circle now again I'm going to move it from here over to this side this time I'm going to put it the center right here so that means that if I draw a line from here to here that is 30 click on the circle again move it from here to right at the end there if I draw a line from here to there that is 30 so now I have all six sides so let me see one two three four five six I have all six sides so I know I no longer need I no longer need this circle so I can delete this circle and I can also delete this circle as well I no longer need this circle either so now I'm just going to draw some lines from all these points from here to here and from this point in to here from here to here from here to there 
here and from here to that point right there good so now we have all the sides and we have the base so let me just label this correctly all right so in the picture and the drawing this is labeled b e so it's a b c d e f and back to a all right so let's label it like that then all right so it is Just turn off objects now for a minute. The reason why I turn off objects now is because I don't want the letter to snap on the line, I just want it to be a bit outside of the line. Like that. Alright, nice. So, with that done, I can delete this D. Alright, so this would be labeled A. then back to A. Good. <coughs> so that's the surface development done. Alright, so let me just um, brand this, give it a different color from the construction lines. Alright, so all of this will be brand new. So if this was something that you were doing like with manual drawing, if you were drawing like on paper, these are the things that you would bring so that would be brand and all of these all right so let me just give these a different color let's make them yellow yeah all right so yeah and this would be yellow as well from here to here let me turn on the objects now So that is the surface development for this hexagonal based pyramid um, completed. All right. So I do hope you have um, learned something new today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you can subscribe so that you can see any um, future video and related content. All right. So thank you for watching and do have yourself a nice day.